Hi, you guys, Amanda Brown, First American Title Insurance Company. I hope you're all having a wonderful summer. I know I am. My kids are back in school and I hope yours are too, if they're not already. Um, today's video will be about some different types of loans and liens that show up on a property. So you have your typical deed of trust, which is that, that first loan, that first position loan deed of trust. And that is usually put on by a traditional lender, conventional lender, such as Chase, Bank of America, any direct lenders, that kind of thing. And that is a loan that is taken out when you purchase your property, you finance the property, you make payments to that loan. There are other types of loans, other types of liens that come through on title, such as Cal Halfa loans. There's down payment assistant programs, which are amazing, but remember those down, pay, down payment assistant programs, those loans need to be paid off. There is also a secure performance loan. Those ones, if you see it, please call me. If you're on a listing appointment um, and someone says, oh, I have another loan, I don't really know what it is. It's uh, with my, maybe it's uh, tied to a SBA loan or something. I'm not sure if it's on my property. Please make sure to call me so I can check to see if there is a secured payment uh, performance loan, a secure performance loan. Those ones do not have an amount. Typically it's because there is a performance that goes with it or, it's the, or their primary residence is used as collateral for something else. So secured performance loans, let's make sure we look at those. We do not forget about those um, because we can't and we have to deal with those right away. Um, get a hold of the lender, escrow needs to talk to the lender, that kind of thing. And then there's also these transfer fees that have been popping up um, a lot in Chula Vista areas, but um, there is a charitable housing fee that is set up by developers and those charitable housing fees are calculated usually based off the sales price and a portion um, and those that amount actually goes to like a 501c3 a lot of the times, which is a nonprofit organization that was put on by the developer. And those are like transfer fees. So um, anytime that you see a charitable housing, something like that, um, there are transfer fees that do pop up. So make sure to look at those preliminary title reports, please. Um, of course, we send you out a review, but if you ever have questions, because to us, Sometimes like we, we, of course we highlight it, we send it over to you, but um, we're used to kind of seeing these things. But if it's something that you are not used to, if you're confused about it, if you're looking at that report and you're like, I don't really know what that is, please call. I would love to go through your reports with you. I try to call as much as I can, but um, if you have questions, my number is 619-820-2866. I'm always happy to help you guys. It's my job, it's my pleasure. I absolutely love it. So give me a call if I could be of any assistance. My number is 619-820-2866 and enjoy the rest of your summer. Bye.